Hey, my legion, how y'all doing today? Um, I'm here to review. My knowledge, this is the first time I've ever heard of this. Uh, Hostess, well, I've heard of Hostess Donuts, but I never heard of uh, the Gingerbread Spice Mini Donuts. At least uh, not until I saw Ian Kinder's review of them. Then, then I heard of them, but I was like, tell my dad, boy, we gotta get these things. My dad right now is sleeping, so I'm not gonna bother him. But I did buy one pack of these. And, uh, it has the thing promoting Madagascar's penguins. I've never seen any of the Madagascar movies. Uh, I heard some people say they're good. Some people say they're so-so. I've never seen any of them. Uh, I know penguins are really big in movies uh, over the last few years. The only penguin movies I've seen was on Discovery. I saw March of the Penguins and then uh, what was it, on Cinemax or Stars? I saw Happy Feet. Or I rented Happy Feet. I can't remember. That was a really bizarre film. But that was like the first like major penguin movie. And the only one I saw at the theater, I saw Surf's Up. About the surfing penguins at uh, the Dollar Theater with my niece and nephew. I might have rented that for my niece and nephew. We saw it on Stars or HBO or Cinemax a long time ago. But very strange movie. But anyways, I'm here to review them. And uh, let's open them up and try them out. Well, after the nutritional facts, of course. I will forget. Hostess brands out of Kansas City. Okay. Serving size four donuts. Serving per tain are about five. 200 calories. Uh, calories from fat, 35. Four grams total fat, one gram saturated fat, no trans fat. 10 milligrams cholesterol. 290 gram, uh, milligrams sodium. 38 grams uh, carbs. One gram dietary fiber, 18 grams sugar, three gram protein. 4% uh, calcium and 6 percent iron. So let's give these a shot. And these were $2.00. At Walmart, if I didn't say it before, and usually the usual listing price is two ninety nine. Usually you might be able to get them for uh, two packs for five bucks or something. But these were two dollars down at Walmart. Now let's open these up. I like they still have the metal clasp right here. Okay. Wow, you got a big blast of uh, gingerbread spice smell. Pretty, it smells really good. It smells like Christmas. You know, you know Christmas is still uh, a month away, almost, or a little more a month away. So let's give these a shot. These are Hostess Cinnamon Spice Donuts. Let's see how they are. Delicious flavor, delicious uh, texture, very fresh tasting. I remember I did a review of the donuts last summer. Well, I got a lot of hate from that. Some people saying they didn't like the donuts. So I think these are good. I mean, if you like powdered donuts, just imagine with some cinnamon, uh, gingerbread spice, and it's fantastic. Let me take one more bite. Real looking side. Fantastic. Mm. Mm. Them. I'd have to give the hostess cinnamon spice donuts a hearty mm. eight and a half almost a nine out of ten they're really good I think my dad's gonna like it but he's sleeping I'm not gonna wake him up so until next time I please Take care, my legion. It's starting to warm up now, and then it's starting to rain, and uh, I think Monday and Tuesday is supposed to get in the 50s and 60s, then it's supposed to go down again. I mean, I hope the, I hope it doesn't end up turning to ice when it starts getting cold again, because that'd be a pain. It's a lot of slush right now, outside of Edinburgh, not in our yard, too. There's a bunch of slush. So, until next time, everybody, please take care, everybody. Hey, I almost forgot. I saw a couple of videos last night that I was going to add into a video. I forgot all about it. I thought I had it at the end of this video. Um, yeah, I saw... What the heck was it called? Well, I was talking about Shock Cinema Parts 1 through 3. I finally saw Part 4 last night. Part 4 was like makeup effects and behind the scenes. 
and basically for an hour just talks about four movies murder weapon which i'd never seen uh what was a robot ninja which i never seen and then the two i have seen uh skinned alive and ghoul school back in skinned alive back in fort dietrich and ghoul school back in fort bragg a long time ago and these movies were like made in 90 or 91 and then uh i'll update a little later but i mean uh the first two Shock Cinemas were great with interviews with different people. Shock Cinema 3 was kind of a downer. The TNA part and the gore part were okay, but the bloopers, oh man, the bloopers just weren't funny, and the bloopers were for a long time in the movie. And this one is all right. The first part, uh, the special effects for Murder Weapon were actually handled done pretty well, you know. And it looks like it's a, you know, low budget, halfway professional movie for that one, at least. At least somewhat, you know. And then the ones from uh, the Robot Ninja, that was just amateur movie. It, it was it was still interesting and okay, but I don't know it was only so so. It, the big effects weren't good. And then the last ten minutes were kind of a throwaway. It was just like some scenes from uh, a, they said action scenes from Skin Alive. There's no behind the scenes makeup, and a little bit from Ghoul School. But Ghoul School, whenever like. They had like a gore effect, like take off armor. Like there's all this like blue tubing. It looks so fake. And they did show a little bit of behind the scenes makeup on that one. You know, I like Ghoul School, but I mean, there's so much blue tubing and stuff. It looks so phony, but it was okay. But I mean, as far as as a whole, I I, I didn't give uh, Shock Cinema. I love Shock Cinema Part One and Two. Shock Cinema Part Three, I didn't think was so hot. And then this one right here, Shock Cinema. Uh, for make effects behind the scenes. I give that maybe a mild seven out of ten. It's okay. But I mean I was for I'd be further off watching the movies instead. Now the next one I saw must have been was filmed late, years later, like in like in the late two thousands. Well not late, but two thousand four to five or late a little later than that. And this was something to scream about. And this was another one hosted by Brink Stevens in the same manner as the first two shock cinemas. And they interview about like a whole bunch of Scream Queens. Some, most of them I never heard of before. But most of them got to start in Summer Party Massacre just like Frank Stevens did. The ones I do know is Julie Strain and Judith O'Day. And Judith O'Day was famous for uh, playing Barbara in Nightmare on, I mean not Nightmare. on. She played Barbara on Night of the Living Dead, the original George Romero one. And it's a very entertaining movie. And they show like little scenes and stuff like the movie and stills and stuff. But they talk about whole group of people it's a very entertaining well done movie and i think now that gets a 10 out of 10 and it's almost as well it's kind of a throwback from the part, first two movies except the first two didn't have like like photos of the girls or like little bits of the movies and stuff like that but that's a 10 out of 10 and it's and that and shock cinema parts one and two are really good so there you have it for that and of course the hostess donuts review so until next time bye please take care of my legion